Hi, welcome to StressHouseStressFree.com. My name is Vincent Wu. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tips on how to achieve a stress-free road trip. Tip number one is to have your car checked. Make sure you have maintenance. Maintenance is on schedule. You have your oil checked just to make sure your car is running good. And if you're traveling in the winter time, make sure your heater is working. And if traveling in the summertime, make sure air conditioning is working. You don't want to spend your summer at a, that's a, at a auto repair store. Tip number two is have a GPS and also a copy of your directions where you're going to and make sure it's put kept in a pocket like this so when you need to look just grab it instead of uh, grabbing the piece of paper on your dashboard or on your side panel. Tip number three is make sure you have charger for your laptop, your iPod, iTouch, iPhone and most importantly don't forget your adapter for your cell phone just in case your battery runs out or you need it at, at a time of emergency. Tip number four is you ha have a bunch of DVDs DVDs for your, for your uh, DVD player. If you don't have the, the DVD player in your car, make sure you get a portable one. If you travel with kids, that will keep them occupied. I remember before, before the DVD and before they have the um, DVD player in the car, I used to have the big VHS video cassette recorder and the TV together and I put in between the car seat right in front of the passenger, between the passenger and the uh, driver's seat. And that, ac that actually keeps the kids well quiet. I remember two summers ago we drove down to South Carolina and it takes about 18 hours, 18, about 18 hours drive to uh, South Carolina. And uh, what I did was I rented a uh, Chinese uh, movie series, about 28 tapes or 28 DVDs and some, something like that. And uh, by the end of the trip, everybody knows, my kids knows, learns a little bit, bit more, ch more Chinese and they're much better off now. And recently, uh, my friend John Chow is just, just recommending the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, which is great because I have, I, you have an iPad and we stream uh, movies in the iPad. So now we, we, we can have the Wi-Fi for the iPads and, the, and get Wi-Fi for the, for the iTouch. That way my kids will not, will not, will not be uh, giving me a hard time asking me to look for a Wi-Fi. Tip number five is to make sure you have a first aid kit like this. First aid kit like this. Let's look what's inside. Okay, let's see what's inside. And always make sure you have a hand lotion in the car all the time, just in case your hands are dry. I always use the utterly smooth, utterly smooth. It's really great for your hand and soften your hand. Let's see what's inside the, uh, the first aid kit. First you have the temperature thermometer to take, take temperature just in case Anyone has fever or fever? Of course, band-aid is always important. Back of band-aid and uh, alcohol wipes. Alcohol wipes just in case. Band-aid, alcohol wipes. Maltrin for fever, Maltrin for fever. Also, Advil for pain, especially the ladies. Hand sanitizer. Neosporin, that's uh, antibacterial, just in case they have a cut. And these are the uh, some Chinese medicine. This is the tiger balm, good for stomach ache, pain, headaches. A tweezer just in case something pokes your hand and uh, this is called Mopico this is good for uh, mosquito bites and each and this is one of, one of my favorite this is in uh, Chinese is called Tita Jiu or Tita Jiao in Cantonese and this is good for sprain aches and uh, muscle pain this this bottle is specially made by one of my friend's uncle 
It's a it's a it's a secret Chinese ancient recipe. More band aids, and this is a phenomenal ointment. From uh, this is a very very special ointment. It's called a uh, lap mun yao in Cantonese. It's good for animal bites. I mean uh, insect bites and itch. And I remember one time. I was barbecuing in my friend's place, and um, and a bee. I got stung by a bee, and you can actually feel that your hand, my finger, was pounding like really, really hard. It was pounding like crazy, and as soon as I put this on it, it about in five minutes, the pain is gone, and the swell goes down. It's really, really great. This is what's in our our first aid kit, and uh. Thanks to my wife, she did a really good job and have all this. We always have this when we travel, and it really, it really comes handy when at times of need. Tips number six is to have uh, snacks like chewing gum and coffee candy to keep you awake, and a healthy snack like granola bar, nuts, and fresh fruits and dry fruits, uh, and bottle. Uh, I mean, box juice and water. Water is the best thing. It helps clean up the system. And also will not make you as thirsty as you are. And tip number seven is don't forget to bring a camera or a camcorder and to take and take a lot of pictures and videos. Why? Your kids will, you 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 have something to remember on your trip about your trip, and also later on your kids will appreciate and it bring back memory. I have pictures from. My kids were in the little, and when we do road trips and stuff, and they still remember it till this day. Tip number eight is to have a blanket and a pillow ready, so that they can take a nap. And even summertime, you still to have the AC on. The car is going to be a little cold, and during winter time, of course, it's a little cold. And plus, the blanket uh, keeps keeps them keeps them comfortable, and you might save some heat too. Number, just tip number nine is to leave early, because you leave early. We when we, you leave early, there's less traffic, and you have the whole day ahead of you to enjoy. Like we sometimes we, when we do do trips to Maine during summertime, we what we do is we get up about four, four five o'clock and get ready, and then we drive uh, and be on the way. Less traffic, no traffic, and we can just zoom right through. And by the time we get there, it's about. Um, it's about ten or eleven o'clock. So what you do is we we go to we go have a brunch and then go enjoy the beach. Oh, the last tip is don't don't forget to have your car clean because things will pile up like the snacks that you brought into the car and also the uh, the wrapper from the fast food along the way. So just clean it. If not, it's gonna get really really messy and it's gonna ruin your it's gonna ruin your trip. So, don't forget, clean your car before your trip. And uh, those are the ten tips. I hope you enjoy it and have a nice, have a great trip.